so we are here in Gigiri. It's like uh, the the center of the embassy in Nairobi, of the embassies in Nairobi. So all the different nationalities are coming here and they're meeting up. This is like a courtyard. We are now in the art gallery. And yeah, checking out some stuff here. Very beautiful, very creative. Subscribe, leave me a like and follow me on my journey living outside the box. That you repair your car always <laughs> that people at work, you know. <laughs> well, that's why they put the car. Yeah, it's on purpose. They don't, they don't allow to the system. So relax and quiet here. It's here. You know better, it's here. A lot of white, a lot of Muzungus must be here. Yes, yes. I'm a lawyer person from Western region. From the Western region? Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank you, mate. Karibu. Bwana wakati mwema. Child secure. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Was it good to have a next drive? Thank you, sir. Have a good one, mate. Thank you, sir. Here we are. Yes. How about my sunglasses? And yeah, we're gonna go outside soon and check out the coffee here and maybe have even lunch over here because it smells already pretty good over here. Oh, okay, this is this. So this is organized like a food, co food court over here. You have everywhere different shops where you can get your food, from pizza to Caribbean barbecue and uh, gelato, little Beirut I see from here, Lebanese cuisine. And you can get your food and then you just sit down over there at the tables and you join. Like if I want to go get something Lebanese and friend wants to get something from the pizza place, we can still meet up on the, on the same spot and sit on the same table. It's very cool made. We have a lot of handcraft over here, like most of it I believe it's Kenyan made, it's, it's local stuff over here and a very international audience, it's because of, the, because of the embassies around here, so all the people who are working at the embassy, they are meeting up here, they have a break here or they spend their time here, their free time here, you have even a gym, a gym over there. Crossfit in Bigiri. So. If you guys want to hold yourself fit, you can come over here. Can I come in? It's quite similar like the Hi. Crossfit Quetu. So we have decided we chose an Italian place or a pizza place. Solo Grano. Uh, we're gonna get a margarita pizza. Let's check it out. 
Looks pretty good. Thin dough. Spinning like pizza. Tastes good. A pretty cool thing which I saw already in different restaurants over here. They use bottles. They recycle them and use them as glasses. Clever idea. Shakespeare's coffee. This looks very, very good quality. I'm gonna get a coffee over here. And they have even a small, small art exhibition over here. Ten thousand shilling must be around eight hundred uh, eighty euro. <laughs> eighty euro. Even with their own coffee brand, Shakespeare's Coffee. I have to try out this one. Say it's good coffee, you can trust me. So, I was just talking with this guy, with the worker of the Shakespeare Coffee, and as you see, they're pretty much all over the world. They are trusting people here. So, you just pay, you take your shoes off, and you let your child. Jump the whole day. Yes, I am enjoying over here my coffee. I discovered something which I heard already a lot of other people that the bike sport in Kenya is picking up a lot, even or the most uh, hike <laughs> in the sports you had in COVID times. They told me because a lot of people were avoiding the public transport, so they started to take uh, replacements there, yeah, like, like a bicycle. And some people even got so much interested that they are buying uh, uh, racing bikes like this here in Kenya. Who would have believed this? Yeah. So I was just meeting this, this young guy over here and I was talking with him about, about the bicycle sport here in Kenya. Uh, yeah, he's, he's working here and he can tell you something about this. Hi guys, I'm Wanda. We are at um, uh, Igiri Courtyard and we're checking out some bicycles here. It is super cool. We've come here to exhibit some of our stuff. We have our art on display here. And are having a good time catching up with uh, someone from another part of the world, you know. It's interesting to collect those experiences. And uh, it's good. I'm hoping one day we can ride bikes together. Yeah. <laughs> I take the invitation for sure, man. I take it. Yeah, yeah. So we're in Nairobi. We're doing art. We have a place called Art Corner. It's in Buruburu. You can always visit us. And we're doing amazing stuff there where we're doing craft work, we're working with glass, metal, plastic, we're recycling and we're upcycling. So um, we're trying to make art um, to become more mainstream in the industry because Kenya has a lot of conventional professionals uh, like um, uh, business people and pharmacists and, and the like. So there's been a very small space for the creative economy to expand. Just like a collective, yeah? yeah a lot of different kind of arts which yes. are meeting up together and yeah. you create together different kind of arts. Yeah? Yes, yes, so that we can appreciate and uh, uplift art in its absoluteness instead of just focusing on um, painting is good or, or craft or, or carving is good so that people in art... Pushing creativity all in all. Yes, yes. yes. I, I realize like the Kenyan country, the people here, like the woodwork, the mask of the of the Maasai or something when you buy from the tribes some some art uh, pieces, they're 
pretty pretty creative over here like more than in other western countries or something where i've been like here's much much more creativity that's what i what i felt when i went the first time to kenya yes yes what do you think about this um i think it's true because a lot of artists hold their originality a lot of uh, culture has been passed down from one generation to another because of the strong family culture and the community sort of approach to everything so people in every community children can access culture from their grandparents from their neighbors from even strangers so that culture has been able to keep strong and original from generation to generation and you find that even if we accept other cultures and we really tolerate them we're able to really um sort of like create an, uh, a, a difference so that people can identify our art and um sort of like spot it from a distance you know yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. so important so if you want to follow up if you want to check out what he's doing i'm gonna link uh, the website down in the description and i hope you you get a glance of what what is happening over here in gigiri with, with the art and even even the sport he is, everything is here together people yeah. are doing everything yeah. this guy is selling bicycle selling exercise to people what is a good thing and he's selling creativity and art and getting people together to create stuff together i would say that's the way no yeah. So the guy you just saw in the interview, um, I was filming the store of them and he came up on himself and started talking to me and he was not minding me filming him, like this short interview you just saw. That shows how open the people are here and how how much they like to to share what they do with, with other nations or the publicity, like like the internet or YouTube or something. So we decided to walk around a bit. We left now the Gigiri courtyard and we're walking around in this in this area here. People are a bit... Uh, yeah, we have to be careful with filming because here are a lot of embassies and they're getting angry if we film the embassies obviously. But I have to show you the vibes over here. It's completely different than where we are living in Karen or in the other districts I've been in Kenya or in Nairobi. So we just crossed the, the embassy area now I can start filming, filming again because every hundred meter there was security telling me to put the camera down for a security reason. But yeah, understandable. It's, it's very nice to walk around here to have a different view, a different perspective. I love these plants. Most of people are thinking that this is like feathers on the head and this is the peak. But if you watch it from another perspective, then this is like the wings, this is the tail, and this is the peak. Fun facts by travelers. <laughs> this is a paradise bird. Our plan was walking around a bit in the embassy uh, district and then going to the village market, which is also in Gigiri. And, uh, we were able to walk the whole way by foot. We made it to the village market. Let's check it out. It smells very good here. Mini golf experience. Glow in the dark. As you can see, Halloween is behind the door. Everyone is making promotions. Oh. Yeah, it's very Mediterranean over here. This looks very much like a Western place. Eh? Could be Germany or Spain or something like this. They even have a they even have a live DJ over here. Check this out. Art work like everywhere here. Very creative. They do a lot of art out of recycled stuff. I like it. Even the feet. Even they have an eye for the detail. Look this guy. He's copying me. This is a view you 
you get on top of the village market. Over there you can spot the, the CBC and the Westland. But more we don't get over here. I was expecting more. Sorry guys. How much is one? One fifty. One hundred. Is it a good price? Yeah. Yeah. Good price. I take this. This one there. Yeah. How much do we get for this? One hundred. Good price. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You want? I'll eat later. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. Machine complete. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can park here. Oh, oh, okay. What's written on the clock? Yeah. Perfect. Rest for you, mate. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sante sana. Cargo sana. Have a nice evening. You too, man. Thank you. This is it. Paid roughly 8 euro now to drive 40 minutes. If this is not a good price, then I don't know. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, leave me a like, and don't forget to keep updated.